Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mojo and this is my Tesla Model S Performance running on FSD Beta version 11.3.4 which I just got today. So today we're going to drive it through our gauntlet, three roundabouts, one, two, three unprotected left turns and back again. So coming up to this first roundabout, still slamming on the brakes, I don't have anybody behind me. But unfortunately, this is something that I've seen uh, on FSD Beta for quite a while, and I'm kind of sad to see that it hasn't been fixed. So, quick note, this does not make the car autonomous. I am in control at all times and can disengage either through the steering wheel or the brake pedal. I even have a lever. So, on the bottom right, you'll see the blue steering wheel means FSD is engaged. If I disengage, you'll hear a tone and that will move to the top center and turn gray. So coming up to the second roundabout, really smooth here. Um, a little slow for my liking, but uh, no one around, so I'm not too worried about it. Now coming up to the second roundabout, we'll be making a right here. There's no one around. Slamming on the brakes. Busty. Not sure if it's because of that car. Looked like it was blue. All right, the steering wheel moved to the left just a little bit, um, but it didn't need to. So let's go ahead and fast forward through this to the next unprotected left. All right, coming up to this left turn, getting over into the left turn lane. Um, so lots of construction. It's been like this for quite a while. We have tra cross traffic going anywhere between 45 and sometimes even up to 60 miles an hour here. Stopped at the stop sign. We have cars both on the left and on the right. It needs to stop. We're right at that creep limit. Um, so now I can't see on the right but we have plenty of cars on the left. Uh, no more cars after this Range Rover that is taking, I believe is taking a left. I'm not sure what this Range Rover is doing. I believe they're taking a wide left because I'm basically hanging out, but we now we have an Audi on the right. I don't know why we're cre oh, no. Dusty. So we have a, a, a big old truck, as you can see right there coming through um, it really needed to stop there and it looked like it was going to go right through. Maybe I should have let it go. Maybe it might've been really confident in that left, but it was a little bit too much for me. And I was, it looked like I was basically in the street from my vantage point. So now coming out to this, uh, one to two lane, uh, spread. Okay. Not really sure. We don't need to be in the right lane. <laughs> We need to be in the left lane because um, we'll be making a left turn here. No no reaction to look, what looks like that uh, New York Yankees hat in the road. Um, all right, so now we're moving off to the left. That's good. All right, coming up to this left turn lane, I got someone like riding my... I got someone riding my uh, my my bumper there, but we're making this left turn. I uh, don't have any cars. All right, very very smooth. So let me get ready to drop this this next. Uh, actually, I could probably do it right now. Drop that destination. All right, at the stop sign. You know. It is a little bit longer. I know earlier versions of uh, 11 took longer, even longer than that at red uh, or at stop signs. Um, a little bit longer than version 10. Speed bump it didn't even slow down. It needs to slow down more for that. But I'm not really a fan of the the you know coming to a full stop there at stop signs as it did. Like even after. Even after it initially did the stop signs down to one mile per hour. Okay, we Dusty. have nope, got some cars on our left. Uh, let's see. I'm going to re-engage. We do have more cars. Dusty. Nope. All right. I got some more cars, but yeah, this is a difficult. Let's see. I'm going to, because we have a lot of cars going. 
I'm gonna add a picture of what I can see out the driver's window. And so you can see exactly how difficult this is. Got light poles in the way. Um, got this van. It better not go because now we have cars all around the pl all around. We have cars from the right, cars from the left, cars, you know, about to turn in front of us there in front. Car extravaganza. This is not an easy unprotected left turn. So we are waiting, which is good, but it needs to continue to wait. More cars on our left. Now if it if it really commits at this with this, which it's not really committing, but it's okay. All right, we need to stop. We need to stop. Okay, it doesn't look like we're in the travel lane, which is good. Can actually go right now. The left lane is open, but it looks like it's waiting um, for the right lane to also clear. Wow, didn't even move there. That is interesting. That is really, really interesting. Still here in the median. More cars coming um, behind off, off on the right. But at least it's being patient now. All right, after this Mach E, this white Mach E, you should see it here in a second, right there. And I'm being honked at because I'm waiting. See? I did hit the accelerator because there was someone coming. But yeah. Yeah, so let me go ahead and flip around and move the other way and go back the other way. All right, so instead of making, I don't know why you're getting into, oh, so that's the na that's a nav issue. Oh, because I didn't, yep. <laughs> it's a nav issue because I didn't delete my destination. So let's see, all right, it, it, it picked it up pretty quickly. So we'll make, be making a right at this, we're supposed to be making a right anytime now. Dusty. Really, really late. It's, uh, I'm not gonna say it's the, the, the FSD beta's fault because I did not remove the destination quick enough. Um, but still, really late. It, it had updated the nav, uh, the center nav here already, so it should have known to get into that right turn lane. So, all right, we don't have anybody behind us, so that's good. We're moving into the left lane. This is interesting because normally. In version 10, it wants to camp out into that right lane. It wants to be into the right lane and stay there, even as we get up to this merge, which has been a humongous issue with FSD beta for as long as I can remember. All right, coming up to this intersection. This has always been an interesting intersection with Beta. It's wanted to move into the right lane before, right here. It is doing great. It's not reacting to the yellow light. It's, wow, that is, oh, we got a little hesitation right there. All right, uh, not sure why it's beeping at me, but Beta's doing great. Beta's doing really great. All right, so we've had problems with it getting into this right turn lane. Let's see how it does. Oh, immediately immediately gets in the right turn lane. Perfect, perfect. Been having problems with that, mostly intermittently. And I'll be uh, honest, I've gone through that turn lane a couple times, gone through this turn a couple times, and it's always gotten to the turn lane correctly. A little slow on the right turn, which is something I've also noticed. It really needs to be a little bit more confident on the right turn. There's no one coming. I, there, there's no traffic control that's stopping me from making that right turn. All right, we uh, slow went down because I had my destination there. So I've just deleted the destination and we're on our last leg here. All right, coming up to this roundabout, little hesitation, um, but not bad. 
really takes that that first you know part of the the, the it really takes that first the, the inner part of the circle a little too closely it should really have it a little bit further out so you can make that complete turn better um but you know that's just me nitpicking so coming up to the second turn um no one around it's doing well got nobody up oh, and now we're slowing down Ugh, a little a little cautious there a little cautious i'd give it a a b b minus maybe Now, if you want to see more FSD beta videos, specifically the comparison, the side-by-side -side comparisons that I do, and even and give them a grade, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you can even follow me on Twitter, at Tesla Mojo. It's coming up to this third. Wow, very nice. A little jerky on the stop, but I've seen beta not take heed to cars that are in the roundabout before so i had my foot over the brake i was waiting for it and hey generally a, a a good drive had a lot of issues with that unprotected left turn um uh that that second well no actually third unprotected left turn so not really it's not great but what are you doing dude what are you doing Oof, man, human drivers. But uh, that, that unprotected left turn was a bit of a problem. So, you know, just like Chuck, when he first started doing his unprotected left turns, we're having some issues, having some issues. Um, I will do a, let me go ahead and back up here and do a quick little, uh, quick little summary. So, so I'm, I'm just waving someone off here on the left. So generally, like I said, a decent drive. Problems with that unprotected, mm -hmm. no, actually two mm -hmm. unprotected left turns. I, I forgot about the first one. Um, unprotected left's not doing great. Although the intersection, um, the merged intersection, it did really well both times, both going and coming. Um, coming and going. <laughs> uh, but I do expect um, a lot of revisions. Uh, I mean, we're on now the fifth revision of FS of, of uh, beta version 11 that's going out, 11.3.5. Um, so hopefully we'll see some rapid improvements, um, especially on the highway, which I haven't been on the highway yet. Um, that'll be my next video coming out very, very soon. I might just do them back to back so you guys can have some great FSD beta content. So just want to say thanks a whole bunch for watching uh, my videos, being on my channel, and being a subscriber. Um, you could have been anywhere on the internet, but you decided to spend a couple minutes here with me and FSC Beta, and I appreciate that. Tesla Mojo, out.